Hello again YouTube, MDB here ready to lay down some knowledge about xanthan gum. As always we want to know, where does it come from, is it safe, and why is it used so extensively? So sit back, relax and let's get to learning chemistry. Of all the white powders we've covered here on Million Dollar Batchmaker, this one is one of a kind. It's been called alien, exotic, even terrifying, and yet, it is literally everywhere. Of course, I'm talking about xanthan gum. It comes in different colors, different mesh sizes, you can even get non-GMO varieties, but what's truly fascinating is what it does. At its most basic, xanthan gum is a thickener and product stabilizer. By adding xanthan gum to water as we're doing here, we are drastically increasing the viscosity and the overall stability of the entire solution. But keep in mind that this ingredient by itself is not an emulsifier, though it can help keep solutions from separating into their component parts. Also, the addition of heat can help speed up this reaction. The end result is a well-formed gel. Okay, so far so good. Now, million dollar question. What in the world can we do with this gel? Well, as it turns out, this concoction, which resembles a beaker of snot, can do a lot when combined with other ingredients in the right proportion. Case in point, products containing xanthan gum run the gamut from lotions, creams, shower gels, toothpaste, soups, salad dressings, ice creams, shampoos, and a thousand other items that I simply don't have time to talk about. So instead, let's take a break and do a deep dive into xanthan gum's origin story. It all starts with the research team at the United States Department of Agriculture, led by the one, the only, Aline Rosalind Jeans. Hey Aline, how about you take over from here? In the 1950s, I was put in charge of the team that discovered xanthan gum and its many potential uses. Years of research and many patents later, my discovery has been used in everything. Go ahead, check the ingredient lists on like a quarter of your consumer goods. World domination complete. Thanks, Aline. There's nothing better than fan a first-hand account. You get it? Zan fan? Hey, MDB. Word of advice? Don't quit your day job. No, no, you're right. Comedy's not for me. The reason why xanthan gum is used so extensively is because it's so versatile. It comes in natural and organic varieties. Also impressive is the fact that it takes less than 1% concentration to turn a solution from this to this. But that's not all. Xanthan gum is also excellent for suspending materials in solution. It is used to suspend pumice and body scrubs microbeads and body washes, and microcrystals and toothpaste. And if that wasn't enough, xanthan gum is used extensively in gluten-free products because it mimics some of the taste properties of gluten. Now let's talk about some of the safety concerns. Xanthan gum is a exopolysaccharide and the human body treats it as a soluble fiber. Therefore, most of the health concerns surrounding xanthan gum are related to its gastrointestinal effects, some of which are well documented, i.e. flatulence and increase in bowel movements. Also, there are a few people who have a xanthan gum allergy, symptoms usually include rashes or GI disorders. But most scientists agree, consuming 15 to 20 grams of xanthan gum every day is perfectly okay. Okay, fun fact, my employer doesn't know I frequently go to the company rooftop, and today, I'd like to take you along with me. Alright, here we are on my company's rooftop. The sun is shining bright, there's no better place to wrap up our discussion on xanthan gum. Now, many people are worried about xanthan gum's effects on the body, and yet acknowledge that it's everywhere. But I am here today to declare once and for all that xanthan gum is safe. Wait, wait, that's 
It's not completely true. Let's try that again. Xanthan gum is made from bacteria, but probably won't kill you. It's closer, but I think we can do better than that. All right, last time. Third time's a charm. Xanthan gum, as far as we know, is safe, according to researchers, scientists, etc., etc. Much better. All right, bye now. Once again, thank you guys for watching. And if you truly like our material, feel free to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I answer everything. Once again, this is Million Dollar Batchmaker, signing out.